Okay, so it says the only intermolecular forces existing be, uh, between oxygen molecules O2 are London dispersion, dipole dipole, hydrogen bonding, uh, and ion dipole. So let's look at O2. So oh, this is O2, uh, and this is a diatomic molecule, right? O2. If you want, I can actually draw you out. I can, it's simply just O uh, double bond O, right? It's not it's not something that's like uh, super fancy. And again, I, I could draw the lone pairs as well. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four. I have six, right? I have, I, have, I have three pairs. I have three lone pairs here. One, two, and one, two. So I have three lone pairs on each each uh, oxygen here. So now it's saying the only intermolecular forces existing between uh, oxygen molecules are, so it says London dispersion. Again, London dispersion exists between in any molecule because it's actually, it depends on the size of the molecule. So London dispersion exists anywhere. So London dispersion is, um, is, uh, is an answer. Uh, dipole dipole also exists, right? Dipole dipole in this case, I have a dipole, right? I have this is pushing, um, this is pushing towards. Um, um, I have a negative. I have a negative dipole. Uh, the di the electrons here. Uh, this here is partial negative. And this here is negative. This here is negative. This here is negative. Negative negative negative. However, because everything here is negative, if you look at um, all the uh, all the charges here are negative. It actually balances them out, right? It actually balances them out. So this charge here would actually, these two charges would actually cancel out. These two would cancel out, and these two cancel out. So you actually don't have a dipole. You don't have a dipole moment, right? Remember, a dipole moment is simply just simply the electronegativity difference, right? So for example, C double bond O would have an electronegative uh, would have a dipole here, right? Because I have lone pairs. Or sorry, I don't think I only have two lone pairs. Oh, what am I doing? Because I made a double bond. Oh, sorry, my uh, brain's not working today. This here is C double bond, oh, sorry, O double bond O, and I have two lone pairs, right? O double bond O, and I have two lone pairs. But here, if you think about the negative moments in this case are being canceled out. The negative moments are being canceled out. The dipole moments are being canceled out because they exist on both sides. So in this case, I can cross these out. Um, but in the in the, in a, in a case of C double bond O, I, I do have an electronegativity difference, right? Oxygen here is a much 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 more electronegative than carbon, right? So this here is a partial negative. This here will be a partial positive, which means I do have a dipole uh, dipole dipole moment, right? So that's okay. But in terms of O two, I don't have a, I don't have dipole dipole. I don't even have hydrogen bonding because I don't have hydrogen in the first place. And ion dipole does not exist because I simply am not. I don't have an ion. So in this case, the only intermolecular forces exist in the oxygen molecules are London dispersion. So this only force existing is London dispersion because hydrogen bonding cannot occur because there's no H good dipole dipole or ion dipole. A dipole must be present, right? Because O two molecule does not form uh, doesn't form a dipole because of the zero dipole moment because the electron pairs is equally shared between the two O two, right? So like I said before, the dipole moments here are canceled uh, between uh, because there uh, uh, there are an equal amount of dip uh, of lone pairs on both sides. So this here is only the London dispersion. So this here is the correct answer. Great answer and solution. Thank you.